Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to do an upgrade to your WPE member plugin. Now, first things first, it depends on how safe you want to be with this. Um, you can back up your entire site, and there's a variety of ways to do that. It depends on your host, for example. Your host may have a utility. My particular host has a utility for a one click backup, so I'm able to do that. And another safety measure, um, you can also do a backup of the actual plugin. I'm going to walk you through that right now. I'm going to use FTP software, connect to the server, back up the old version of the plugin before I upload the new version. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And another um, precaution you can take is if you have a mirrored version of your website, a lot of times plugins may not interact properly with the rest of the plugins on your website or with your theme for example or it may be that upgraded versions of plugins may not um, interact properly with your server or may there, there may be bugs in them um, there's a lot of variables where there's a lot of different things that could happen so what is a really safe measure especially if you have a website that's got a lot of tra a lot of existing traffic that's a live website there's a lot of transactions going on a lot of times it's a good idea to have a, a test version or a mirrored version of your website where you're able to do the test of the new version of the plugin before actually um, pushing it live. Now, depends on your host, that may be a, something that you already have existing or you can install or you can um, duplicate your, your uh, WordPress install in a, in a, in a subfolder or subdirectory. There's different um, avenues you can go there. That's the extreme safe route to uh, to test it. Um, yeah, so you got to make sure that the uh, the variables are the same, though. That you're you're testing on the same server with the same setup, um, so that you can make sure it's an authentic test. What I'm going to do is back up the existing version here. So I'm going to head over to my FTP software. I'm logged into the server here in the wp content slash plugins folder. And then I have my desktop open on this side. So what I can do just to back up the existing plugin, I can just right-click the entire folder and then click on download. And it's going to grab that entire folder and put it on my on my desktop on my computer so that I have a safe copy of it, a backup copy. Copy. Now I'm using FileZilla, so your FTP software may be a little bit different. And before I go ahead and delete the existing version of the plugin. Um, obviously, it's a good idea to have the new version ready, ready to go um, to do the upgrade. So I have the zip file downloaded on my desktop, and now you can see here this backup has been complete. And one thing that people are concerned about when they're delete, deactivating and deleting a plugin and then reinstalling it, in this particular case, it retains the settings. A lot of plugins will actually remove the settings, remove the entries from the database. This particular plugin, WPE member. We'll actually go ahead and test that. I'm going to go to settings right here. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to choose French language. And you'll see, because by default it's going to be English, of course. I changed it to French. So now when we go into plugins, I'm going to deactivate this plugin. And we have a backup of it, so that's okay. And I just want to show you that after we do the upgrade, we can go back into the settings for WP. Remember, and you can see that the settings were retained because it'll still say French. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Yes, delete the files. All right, so now this plugin no longer exists on the server. So what we want to do is get this plugin on the server now. So this is the new version here. I could unzip this on my computer and upload the folder, or I could just go, since it's a zip file, I can go the traditional route, go to Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File, W. Double click on the zip file, click install now. My particular host asks me if I want to do a backup. I've already done that, I took care, of, took care of that. So I'm going to activate this plugin, and that's it. Now we got the new version of the plugin installed. Um, you may have noticed the version numbers. I didn't actually do a real upgrade, um, I just actually uploaded the same version. But that's the, that's the exact steps you would take had you have done uh, an actual upgrade. All right, so I'm going to click on settings. Just to show you that it still says French, it does, so it retains the settings. So you don't have to be concerned about that. All the configuration and the settings that you set up, that's stored in the database. So that's, there's nothing, that's not going to change, that's not going to disappear. Um, if you made any custom changes to the plugin files, that's where you're going to need to make a backup or 
you know, sort out how to make those changes again afterwards. Um, it's generally not a good idea to make edits to a plugin, to plugin files, but if that's the route you, you went, then you probably already know that you need to make a backup of those before overriding with the new, the new plugin files. All right, that's all there is to it for upgrading uh, WPE member. Again, this is Keith. Thanks for watching.